Disclaimer. The content presented in this video is based on historical research and scholarly interpretations. Viewer discretion is advised and individual beliefs and perspectives may vary. Today, we embark on a quest to unravel the mystery surrounding one of the most influential figures in human history, Jesus Christ. While millions find solace and guidance in the teachings of Jesus, there are some controversial claims and misconceptions that have persisted over the centuries. Join us as we debunk the 10 biggest lies about Jesus. 10. The Holy Grail Beginning our countdown with the legend of the Holy Grail, widely associated with the Last Supper. For centuries, the Grail has been a subject of fascination in Christian lore and popular culture. However, there is no historical evidence to confirm its existence. The Grail is not mentioned in the New Testament, and early Christian texts do not refer to it. This suggests that the Grail is more likely a symbolic or metaphorical concept, possibly introduced in medieval times rather than a physical artifact. 9. The Resurrection At number 9, the resurrection of Jesus stands as a central doctrine in Christianity, yet it remains one of the most debated aspects. Skeptics point out the lack of direct historical evidence outside biblical accounts. While faith traditions uphold it as a miraculous event, historians and scholars often view it through the lens of religious belief rather than empirical history. The difference in perspective leads to varied interpretations and debates about the nature of the resurrection. 8. Jesus' Crucifixion The eighth spot addresses the reasons behind Jesus' crucifixion. While traditionally viewed as a religiously motivated act, historical contexts suggest a more complex scenario. Roman authorities likely saw Jesus as a potential threat to public order, given his growing influence. This political dimension, combined with religious factors such as his claim to be the king of the Jews, led to his crucifixion, a common Roman punishment for insurrectionists and criminals. 7. Did Jesus speak exclusively in parables? Seventh on our list is the claim that Jesus only spoke in parables. While the Gospels depict Jesus using parables as a significant teaching method, he also engaged in various forms of communication. He held debates, gave sermons, like the Sermon on the Mount, and even engaged in direct conversation. The variety in his teaching methods highlights his ability to address different audiences and situations effectively. 6. The Number of Disciples At 6, we examine the belief that Jesus had only 12 disciples. While the Gospels focus on the 12 disciples, other texts, such as the Gospel of Luke, mention a larger group of followers. The number 12 may have symbolic significance, representing the 12 tribes of Israel. This symbolism emphasizes the idea of Jesus' ministry as a renewal of the 12 tribes. 5. The Missing Years Halfway through, at number 5, are the so-called missing years of Jesus, from age 12 to 30. This absence of information in the New Testament has led to various speculations, including theories of Jesus traveling to India or Egypt. However, these claims lack historical evidence and are not supported by mainstream scholarship. The absence of information about these years is not uncommon in ancient biographies, where focus is often on the public life and teachings of the individual. 4. Jesus' Appearance Fourth, we tackle the common depictions of Jesus with long hair and a fair complexion. Such images are more reflective of artistic conventions and cultural influences than historical accuracy. Anthropological and historical data suggest Jesus likely had features typical of Middle Eastern Jews in the first century, with darker skin, hair, and possibly a shorter hairstyle in line with local customs of the time. 3. The Virgin Birth At number 3 is the belief in the virgin birth of Jesus. While central to Christian doctrine, some scholars suggest that the concept might be a theological interpretation. They argue that the original Greek term parthenos, used in the Gospel of Matthew, can also mean a young woman, not necessarily a virgin. This interpretation, however, is a subject of ongoing theological and linguistic debate. 2. The Birth of Jesus Second on our list is the widely celebrated date of Jesus' birth on December 25th. 
This date is not mentioned in the New Testament. Historical evidence suggests that early Christians did not celebrate Jesus' birth. The choice of December 25th may have been influenced by Roman winter festivals like Saturnalia, aligning with the winter solstice. Some scholars propose that Jesus might have been born in spring or fall, based on contextual clues from the Gospels. 1. Jesus only appears in the New Testament. Finally, let's look at the last myth in our series, the misconception that Jesus only appears in the New Testament. This assertion overlooks the profound connections between the Old and New Testaments. While it's true that the specific name Jesus in its familiar form is found only in the New Testament, the Old Testament is replete with prophecies and references that Christian tradition interprets as pointing towards Jesus Christ. For instance, the prophecy in Isaiah 7.14, which speaks of a virgin bearing a son named Emmanuel, is often seen as a foretelling of Jesus' birth. Furthermore, the concept of a coming Messiah, pervasive throughout the Old Testament, is central to the Christian understanding of Jesus' role and mission. While Jesus' physical appearance is part of the New Testament narrative, his spiritual and prophetic presence weaves through the entire tapestry of the Bible, connecting both Testaments in a unified story of redemption and salvation. As we journey through these ten intriguing aspects, it's clear that the life and teachings of Jesus are layered with complexities and interpretations. Separating fact from fiction requires a discerning eye and an open mind. Join us next time as we continue to explore the mysteries that shape our understanding of the world. Until then, keep questioning and seeking the truth.